there are some people here in Tulsa watching the developments and waiting to hear from their loved ones. Two News reporter Asia Vickers joins us with more. Asia. Well, Jason, we spoke with a couple of Tulsans today. One has family in the hardest hit town. The other just barely missed being in the quake. I try to call my family. You can contact nobody. It's now been two days that Aco Paris has tried to reach loved ones, but phones are still down. They live in Sendai, Japan, near the epicenter. The city was the hardest hit, first by the quake, but I did a lot. It's then by massive tsunamis that followed. We're kind of nervous, that's it. Yeah, till, you know, I know they're alive. You know, I especially worry about only the young ones. So she and her friend Yusuke Tuji keep sure. calling and watching Japanese television, looking for updates. The images astonished Tuji, seeing as how it could have been him trapped in Japan. He was on a plane back from Tokyo when disaster struck. If I stay longer, I couldn't go to uh, Narita Airport mm -hmm. because the whole Tokyo City station, everything stopped. He says everyone expects earthquakes, but never one this big. Tuji feels lucky to be back and was fortunate to get a hold of family and friends who are safe over there. As for Paris, she hopes for the same thing soon and looks forward to hearing their voices again. That's all I need. You know, house I uh, uh, don't care. Long as they live in, you know, I'm kind of re relief from worry. Now, we spoke with Paris just a little while ago, who says the Japanese television stations have been putting up the names of the missing. She says even though she still can't get a hold of any family members, so far their names have not been listed. Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you. A lot of folks praying for all those folks over there tonight. We have a